Evening everybody, um, Friday, <clears throat> day 29, isolation and lockdown, nearing the end as I keep reminding you, a um, bit more normality come Monday, <clears throat> so you've only got another, including this one, three to endure, and then I'm all poemed out and blogged out in actual fact, um, so a couple of drinks in I must admit tonight, been a nice sunny afternoon, a <clears throat> um, couple of updates for you, got a Viscount update, you may recall a few weeks ago, I was a bit pissed off to be honest about the Viscount situation. You remember the um, square Viscounts which effectively were just mint penguins. Anyway. What's all that about? So my wife's been shopping today and got proper original Viscounts. No words. <clears throat> Social media. I've gone on about that quite a bit, I must admit. But listen, if a relative dies of um, COVID-19, don't put it on Twitter an hour after they die, craving likes. And also, while you're on Twitter, don't go asking the whole of Twitter nation to name your new pet dog. What sort of responses do you expect to get? Trump, he's nailed it today, big time. Quick um, <clears throat> limerick, and I'll explain why. A crazy man called Donald's got the reins, in charge of the USA's troubles and pains. He says, please don't diss me, but I think Dettel's the key, and we need to inject it right into our veins. So you've probably seen the news today. Donald's really gone on this on this time. He reckons that um, disinfectant, common garden disinfectant, because it kills so many germs, it really, it, that's the way to kill coronavirus. And um, this is the sort of stuff. There you go, look. Common or garden, that's as a smart price, I must admit, but common or garden uh, dental is the key to doing it, injecting it right into your veins. I mean, that's not uh, practical, really, when you're at home. Um, <clears throat> So I think it's got a point to be to be fair. It's fair, it's got a point. I mean, um, it does kill a lot of stuff. So I mean, can't inject it. But listen, try the next best thing. <coughs> I'll be all right now. <coughs> so. Shout out to a pal today that was at home all afternoon in the sun on his decking looking after his uh, two young girls, daughters. Um, not a beer in the house. So I know in that instance, uh, who's in charge of procurement in that household? Who's looking after that problem? Because that's bad. No beers, lockdown, on his own, nowhere to go. So come on, question needs to be asked. Get PPE, no beer during lockdown, sunny day, not good enough. Right, moving on. Last thing, I promise you a poem. This is it. What I miss. <clears throat> Good stuff, that. Lockdown has been a real time of reflection. The world's taken on a whole new direction. So while I've been locked in this house, stirring at the brick wall, it's given me time to look back, to remember and to recall about the normal things we do and for granted we take things that we cannot now do in this coronavirus wake nipping out to the pub for the crack and a beer nipping out to the shops for a browse without fear with the mood it might take me to go to a public space and to talk to my friends not on zoom but face to face when weekends are weekends and not days I'll treat you the same getting your favourite team scarf on and going off to the game. Hugging complete strangers when your tears, team scores a goal. Or nipping out to the butty shop for a hot bacon roll. Handshakes with strangers the first time we meet. Or the Italian way with two kisses to greet. Oh Italy, oh Italy, my absent friend. When will I see you? When will this lockdown end? The weather, the beer, 
the scenery, sublime. The pizza, the people. Oh, did I mention the wine? But my many holidays are now banned. No travel for me. And when it will be back to normal, I just cannot see. I miss arriving home late, complete with Donna Kebab. After spilling out the contents of the back of a cab. Getting my hair cut, regular, by my old friend Elaine. And nipping out to the park, I must from now on refrain. I miss the days of brilliant NHS, didn't need to be clapped. Or when all this hand washing didn't leave my hands all chapped. Freedom to roam, not adhering to rules. Being treated like an adult and not taken for fools. Driving my car down the road without suspicion and stares. Back to that time when nobody cares. Cares what you're doing and what you were saying. Where you were going or what game you were playing. But most of all what I miss is the freedom to decide. Decide what I want to do without so many rules to abide. So I'll sit here and look back and remember the time when doing everyday things wasn't considered a crime. Cheers guys. Happy Friday.